let's talk about this. Let's sort this out. So back to that episode that I watched of Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown, the episode about Mardi Gras, the episode about Cajun people. There's a guy that he interviews on there. A guy whose last name was Rodriguez, who identified as Cajun, and when you look at him, he looks like everybody else that, I, that was Cajun on, on the thing. Uh, just, to me, just looks like another white person. But his last name was Rodriguez, and at no point was that brought up. They, they did say his last name, but it wasn't like, oh, but his mother was of Spanish. No, they didn't say anything about that. Just, he fit in with everybody who was Cajun. He happened to have a Spanish last name. Now, for people outside of America, you say, so what, big deal. But in American culture, through American perspective, it gets a little bit confusing because, and I can say this for 100% in my own 37 years on this planet living in the United States, I can tell you for a fact I've never met any person with a Spanish last name, unless they were Filipino, but that's a completely different thing because of Spanish rule. But I've never met anyone with a Spanish last name who didn't have Native American DNA via Mexico or somewhere in South America, for example. I've never met, so it's, it's, it's a strange occurrence to have a Spanish last name and to not also have Native DNA, Native American DNA. Because I've said it many times, I've never even met a person from Spain anyway. I've never met anyone from Spain. So I can only associate, here in America, Spanish last names equals Native American DNA. That's, that's what's typical, that's the norm here. So when someone has a Spanish last name that doesn't identify as Hispanic or having Native American DNA or something like that, it, it's really strange. So when I watched this episode, can you imagine for me, in my limited perspective, here's a Cajun guy, they say, and he looks just like all the other Cajun people, but his last name is Rodriguez. Now, I understand maybe he was adopted. That's no fun, let's not talk about that. I just want to make this, I want to remind everybody that watches my channel that if you're not in the United States, it's confusing and difficult to grasp that someone can have a Spanish last name who is not also of Native American heritage because people who just identify as Spanish, at least where I'm in the, in the South, they don't exist. It's not a common thing. So. Help me sort that out. And can anyone give me validation on that even? Say, so, you know what, Nick? I know what you mean. Typically, here in the United States, if someone has a Spanish last name, unless they're Filipino, then, yeah, they're also of Native American descent. And that's all we know around here in America. We'd have to travel to Europe to see an exception to that. Comments belong right here. Enlighten me. Show compassion. Give me some confirmation that I'm normal for having this perception because I live in the United States and that the culture is different here. Give me that confirmation that I so desperately need. The comments right